Welcome to my channel Aligning With My Soul, welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you to all of you for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and commenting and sharing your love and taking the time to comment and share how you've been feeling and what you've been through so far on your journey. Um, it really does mean the world to me and thank you so much to everybody that's been paying into PayPal and supporting me. It blows me away your kindness and your love and encouragement um, and it makes me so excited about how my channel is unfolding and where it's heading so thank you so much. Um, if you've come to my channel quite frequently you might want to just skip it to the masculine um, reading but the purpose of this channel if you are new is me sharing my love support to people that are in the same or similar situation to me because um, it can be so lonely and confusing um, and you feel quite lost at times and I want to be able to support people um, and share the knowledge and understanding of what I learned, I've learned so far on my journey and what I learn as in my journey unfolds as well. Um, I was triggered by my twin flame um, so I'm currently on my spiritual journey aligning with my soul. Um, the more confident I get I will be sharing more of how my, my journey started and more of how it unfolds and um, I'll be doing talks and I've got lots of ideas of what I want to be able to share with you guys. I did actually meet my d uh, Divine Masculine on YouTube, I've actually got a video on YouTube the day that I actually met my Divine Masculine. Um, so I want to be able to share that with you one day as my journey unfolds. Um, and um, I've recently done a video sharing my face and so if you feel like you want to be more con connected to me and you want to know more about me, I've recently done a video um, explaining a bit about myself and some of the obstacles and challenges of what I've been through so far and what I'm still faced with um, and what I'm working through. Um, so that's in the description box down below so if you want to check that out. This channel is for people that as well that are in some kind of challenge or um, separation but I like to say preparation because you are one soul so you're never apart you're just not with the physical person you're both preparing on your spiritual journey so you can come back together as one um, I'm currently in preparation with my divine masculine I haven't seen the physical person for two years, but there's been on and off communication. Um, so I know what it's like to be ghosted and for your divine masculine to go silent on you. Um, but uh, recently I've had quite a lot of communication. Um, there was supposed to be a reunion as well um, about four weeks ago, but with what's going on at the moment with COVID, um, and God blocked it for a reason as well because obviously my divine masculine is not ready and I'm not ready as well so we're still preparing but there is communication but I did experience like three or four weeks about three and a half weeks of silent and being ghosted so I do know what it's like and um, it can be really uncomfortable and challenging but it's all good because it's all moving forwards and it's preparing us when we're in separation or preparation as I like to call it is preparing us um, to become better versions of ourselves so we can come back together as one so I do masculine oracle card readings because it's usually the feminines that are really interested in this kind of video um, that's mainly my audience so that's why I do masculine energy and I know how it, sometimes we really do need some guidance of what is going on um, so that's why I do masculine oracle card readings and my readings are timeless so it doesn't matter when you click on the video so if the message resonates to you that's really good but again if um, none of my messages mean anything to you or you don't have any understanding of what I'm saying um, and it doesn't fit into your situation don't try and make it fit because otherwise you'll confuse yourself. I do use the labels Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, him, her, he, she, because that's how I channel. It's easier for you to understand and it's easier for me to say. I realise it's only energy, um, but it's just easier for me to channel like that. So, um, I hope you're going to enjoy my reading today. Okay, let's do this. 
let's see where the Divine Masculine energy is today, right this moment. How is Divine Masculine feeling today? It's always really good to do um, daily readings because energy changes all the time um, and we're all moving forwards every day, whatever we're going through, whatever we're feeling, whatever we're experiencing, good or bad. Um, we're always moving forward, we're always growing and getting stronger and um, that's why it's always really, you know, it's really important to accept how you're feeling all the time and allowing how you're feeling and not trying to fight it, just accept it and know it's all happening for a reason. Um, so Divine Masculines have been making a lot of progress recently, um, big shifts within and you could have experienced that as well. So um, I'm interested to see what the card is today. Let's see. I've, I'm using Archangel Michael cards, by the way, I forgot to say that. Because Archangel Michael is protecting you both on this journey. Take your time making this decision. So Divine Masculines are making the decision um, and to you, the person that's watching, you could be think, thinking, oh my goodness, um, time, it's taken you, you know, you've had enough time, <laughs> but they do need time with Divine Masculines. This is the time where they are making this really important decision and they have, you know, they have started, um, you know, showing that they are, have been doing their inner work and they are experiencing this rebirth this is why they're taking this time right now to make decisions they're thinking ahead of what they actually want to do and how they're going to put in place and prepare to come towards you um, so they're taking their time making decisions and it must you might be frustrated and um, feeling impatient but divine masculines need time they need to be left alone and um, they always feel like they have to find a solution to work things out and they're always best, it's always best to leave your Divine Masculine alone while they are going through what they're going through because um, if you're not hearing from your Divine Masculine then there's, you know, they're being silent, there's no communication at the moment, it's because they're making a decision, a really important decision to commit to themselves and to commit to this journey um, and in that time they don't want to be distracted by you and they are protecting you as well because they don't want to come backwards and forwards you know messing about anymore they're really taking things seriously and um, really doing their work connecting with themselves and listening to they're trying to balance their higher self and their ego um, so let's see what the message says. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. Yeah. So, divine masculines are um, trying to detach themselves from this situation and allow things to unfold um, naturally. Um, but as they're taking this step back, they are um, taking time making th this decision because they're taking this really, you know, they know how important this is, that they know how real this is, they're not going to be doing this backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards and playing games. Um, so they're trying to detach from what's going on externally around them at the moment they're going within and trying to come not listen to what the ego is saying and just you know they could be spending a lot of time alone spending time in nature um they just need to be left alone at this um at this time so it's really important um we we can allow them to do this and if we tr if we are truly trusting in this journey ourselves we can allow them to do this because there's nothing to worry about because you know that everything is okay and everything's happening how it should be right now it's divine timing and divine masculines are making their way home you know yesterday we had in the reading you know 
the card that come out is the, the home card. And nothing, there's nothing, no place like home. So divine masculines are making their way home, but in the you know in that process they have to um, do their work, their inner work, and um, they need to be left alone and to be quiet to make important decisions to commit to themselves to commit to this journey to commit this to commit to this love to commit to you so you may be feeling very frustrated like i said and impatient because you think any more time how much more time do you want but this is really important time because he's really he know he's really taking on board he's not going to mess about anymore he's actually like really doing the work and that could be quite uncomfortable again for your divine masculines um let's see what the more in-depth message is the additional message uh, let's see what page it is 80 infinity so let's read the message you've asked about this situation where there's confusion or the indecision and this card is sign that you shouldn't rush into anything more information will be revealed at time as time passes, which is naturally guides your actions. There's no need to force anything right now. The opportunity won't go away if you don't jump on it immediately and others will wait for you. It's your decision and your best course of action is to slow down and take your time. Yeah, they really do need to take this time to do their inner work and to... Um, make this decision because it's such an important decision so as I said they don't want to come backwards and forwards anymore it's not just a, a, a small decision to make it's a really important decision when you connect commit sorry not connect when you commit to this journey and commit to yourself um, it's really important um, so he does need this time to make this decision and that may be disappointing for the person that's watching because you're thinking, oh my goodness, you know. But it is, he is making his way home by doing what he's doing right now. That is all part of it. This is all the process of, um, on this journey for him to come back home. So let's see what else is in the daily guidance cards today. What's going on with Divine Muskin's energy today? Yeah, nice clear message. The most important thing for you to know is that he's making this decision. He's, going, he's making this decision to commit to himself and not be indecisive anymore. And he's got to be left alone and be, and be quiet and to spend this time in solitude to sort the conflict and the chaos that goes off you know, with you know, the ego, when the ego is kicking off or whatever, he really, he's really having to do with work through things at the moment. <coughs> so what else is going to come out for divine masculines? What energy is divine masculine experiencing right now? Ask. So divine masculines, you know, he could, you know, as I say, he, you know, they are experiencing uncomfortable, challenging times because they're making this decision and they they know that they've got to the stage where they can't do this messing about anymore. So they are like asking for help, asking for help at this situation. Please help me um, make the right decision. Please help me commit to myself. Please help me commit to this journey please help me to commit this love please help me to commit to, to you to my divine feminine so let's see what the message is ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf we're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions so we patiently await for your request yeah so divine masculines are asking help in this situation they're really needing guidance and help at the moment and he's a prey he, you know divine masculine could be praying and um and he's asking for help in this situation because he's feeling lost <laughs> and 
when you're feeling lost. That is when you do actually um, connect to God and you ask the angels to help you. Um, so Divine Masculine is in that space today where he is, you know, that energy where he's feeling uncomfortable and he's asking to help with this situation. So that's really, really, it is really positive, it is really positive because it's movement forwards because it's got to be dealt with and he's making his way home. He's moving forwards every day, the same as you are, the person that's watching. Let's see. What else is going to come out for the Divine Muskins? I'm using the Arch or the Archangel Oracle cards, the beautiful yellow cards. The Divine Muskins in this experience they've been having, you know, they, they, they've learned to ask because they are, you know, they are praying, they are um, connecting to God because of this discomfort and uncomfortableness that they're experiencing and what they've experienced so far on this journey. They are learning to ask for help. Because they are feeling so desperate because they, they just want this to be resolved they want some help in this in this situation let's have a look you are safe yeah Archangel Michael I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and your home, yeah. So, Divine Masculine is asking for help and God is helping your Divine Masculine feel safe, um, to know it's safe of what this experience is he's having right now at this particular moment. Um, it's helping and showing Divine Masculine that he's safe and it's okay to feel the way he's feeling and to hand this over to ask and to trust in the, the you know in the universe and to trust in god and god's angels so your divine masculine is definitely asking for help today um with this situation let's have a look what it says you are safe 65 which is 11 six and five is 11 Right, the additional message is, let go of worries as I'm surrounding you, your loved one's home and possessions with powerful, loving light. This light repels lower energies and attracts loving experiences. Focus on this light and love instead of fear as you attract the object, on, the object of your focus. With your mind free of fear, you have the additional time and then energy to devote to your life's missions. You are free when you are fearless. Know that you are safe at all times and that my protection is flawless so yeah because he's connected with God and he has a relationship you know he's having this relationship with God and God's angels and asking for help and because he's going within um, God is putting things in place to make him feel safe to make him feel secure um, so he is asking for help in this situation um, and God is helping him to know that he, he is safe and that he, it's safe for him to trust, it's safe for him to believe in himself, it's, it's safe to believe in you, it's safe to believe in this journey. Um, so things are being put in place for him to be shown because he is asking for help um, and God and Archangel Michael are keeping him safe. and showing him in lots of different ways that he's safe because he is feeling quite desperate at this time um, but as I said it sounds like as if it's really doomy gloomy but it's not because it's movement forward this is what divine masculines need to go through to commit to themselves and this journey and to commit to trusting and believing in God and knowing everything is he's always looked after and he's always safe so all of these things he's learning right now. He's learning to ask and to trust. Trust himself, trust the universe, trust God. Um, however your divine masculine, you know, some of your divine masculines might not use the word God because they might not be, you know, they might not be 
awakened in that way they might use the word universe um, but they are talking to source they are connecting to source and um, they are getting they are getting response from it so let's see what's going to come out with the oracle the wisdom of the oracle today for the divine masculines <laughs> this is quite a heavy a reading today the last couple of days it's been sort of very um, uh, just different it's just different but this is like not as, it's not necessarily what we're wanting to hear because we're wanting to hear things or the cards to come out to, to all be perfect all the time for what the divine masculine is going through like they have been the last few days but your divine masculine is making this just always believe your divine masculine is always making his way home to you um but during that process he's got to go through these things that he's going through and he could be doing, you know, in the 3D, you could be feeling um, like there's, you know, so much disappointment in your divine masculine because he's doing this, doing that. You've got to see through those delusions. You've got to see through them and be 100% confident and have trust in this journey and know that everything is okay and they are illusions. And you're one soul, so your divine masculine loves you. He loves you. Um, and he's ha he's coming to terms with this, you know, he's accepting this love, he's allowing this love, which can make him experience such intense emotions, um, experiences, you know, really being pushed to make this decision to commit to themselves, not this in and out, in and out, in and out anymore. It's really important. And that's why they are spending time on their own. This is why they are, uh, maybe it feels like they're rejecting you at the moment or pushing you away or they're not in contact. It's for a reason, it's a purpose. And it's about how you respond to that as well. How are you responding um, to your divine masculine not being in touch or um, maybe he's doing something to trigger you or whatever. It's you, how you're responding to that. Um, that you must, you know, if you're in a place where you, you can see through that and you can you know they're illusions, but if it is really triggering, you need to ask yourself, why is that triggering me? Why is that hurting me? Um, and allow it, feel it, accept it, be aware of it, be the watcher of your feelings, be, you know, be the watcher of your thoughts and know that it's just the ego that's trying to kick off and distract you that isn't who you really are right let's see what's going to come out of these cards today these are the wisdom of the oracle orphaned yeah so divine masculines ask you know that actually the number is five so it's movement movement and change a lot of change is happening within the divine masculine that's still really uncomfortable and he's feeling orphaned at the moment. Um, he's spending time on his own. He is spending time on his own and he's feeling so alone um, and he doesn't know, he's feeling desperate and he doesn't know where to turn. He's... Um, He's feeling left out, he's feeling different, he feels like he doesn't fit into this world. Um, and yeah, you can see by the card it's quite drastic. It's sort of dark and gloomy and this is what this kind of reading is today, very dark and gloomy of how he's feeling. Um, yeah, just with their heads down, being alone. Let's see what the in more in um, the additional message is. So number five, sixteen. It's still letting go of this, letting go and um, shredding the layers causes so 
the ego, the pain body, when it's breaking down, it is up painful. It can make you feel all these different emotions, the low vibrational energy is just like, it is very intense and um, can cause you just to feel really shit heavy, is the only word I can come to. Okay, the essential meanings is a sense of loss, an identity crisis, yeah that is perfect. Uh, recognise that you don't fit in, I just said that, and the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. Yeah, he doesn't know where he belongs because he's still working on really, you know, committing. He's making this decision that he's got to commit to himself. He's got to commit to this journey. He's got to commit to believing and trusting. So he's still feeling like he doesn't know who he is anymore. He's just really like a crisis that's happening at the moment. He's feeling he doesn't fit in anywhere um, and he's just feeling uncertain about everything today. So, very intense. The additional, I mean, the oracle message is we were all meant to have connections with other people within our family, society and the larger culture. No man is an island and it's important to recognise when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group of community the way you did before and the need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others to, to like mind and spirit it's okay to let go of the pressure to fit in not everyone will understand you it's time to move on yeah so he just feels really alone and he doesn't feel like he fits in and everywhere anywhere and he doesn't belong and he's very confused and he's feeling this sense of loss and what he's you know this is really good that he's experiencing this because it's about him when he's doing this inner work he's realizing you know he doesn't you know, if you're feeling whole and you accept yourself and allow yourself to be who you really are and you feel, you know, you have this unconditional love for yourself, you won't feel the need to fit in anywhere. It doesn't matter what situation or circumstances you're put in or what somebody says to you or whatever situation, you can just feel okay with who you are you can still feel whole, you don't feel the need that you've got to fit in, you accept, you know, I don't need anybody else to accept me, I've got to accept who I am, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of me, it doesn't matter that I'm different, it doesn't matter because you feel 100% comfortable with yourself um, and because you feel this unconditional love for yourself and you know God loves you. And when you have that and you feel that, that's when you do, you don't care what's going on externally from you. You can cope with any situation. At the moment, divine masculines are feeling lost and confused because they have been trying for such a long time to fit in. And again, with your twin flame journey, it's never straightforward. Um, there's always complications. And when I say complications and obstacles and challenges, they are illusions, really. But... To us in the 3D, they are obstacles and challenges and we have to work through those and things aren't simple, you know, there's always marriages, religion, age gaps, um, different countries, you know, cultures, lots of different things that you have to work through um, and when you accept who you are, when you're comfortable with how you're feeling, who you are, and that you're not trying to fit in to what's going on in the 3D and what society is telling you that you must be, um, accepting that you're different and you're unique. Um, that's when you don't feel orf orphaned, like the card says, but that's when you don't feel alone. You just feel whole because you're just 100% secure within yourself and because you can, you know, you. you You've got God's love. This is what this is about, awakening to God's love. Um, and your, this is what your divine masculine is um, fighting at the moment and working through, pushing through that. Um, so this is really 
powerful a lot of inner work a lot of movement forwards and it's not a, it's not really what I'm saying is an uplifting reading because I'm not going oh my goodness uh, you know all these other cards that come up that do uplift you this is quite you know intense um, a lot of inner work going on which is really uncomfortable desperate times for the Divine Muskins but it needs to be done they need to feel this they need to go through this to get through it and to feel whole at the end of it to realize that he doesn't have to fit in him just being himself is enough and that's what he's learning right now okay but the relationship message is as you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing what you feel you deserve perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you're in a different stage of personal growth perhaps you're in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs so you feel left out unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or agenda don't compromise yourself to belong it won't be worth the price so yeah he's not going to do that anymore by having this experience he's not going to do that anymore he's not going to try and fit in he realizes that doesn't serve him anymore for everything that's happened recently and he's realizing the relationship he had with himself is no good it's not good for him and um it's time to move on um and he's you know he's he's ha having this you know the rebirth his experience is transformation and rebirth and this is why during this process it is uncomfortable um, and he's moving away um, steering away from other people as well that aren't doing him any good other people in his life other relationships as well he's you know he's moving on he's letting go of those as well so but most importantly he's letting go of the old um, the old divine masculine the old him and he's moving through into the new which is uncomfortable as you know yourself um and he's been shown you know as i said when the card came out about um you are safe he has been shown that he's safe and um things are happening so he knows that he's safe during this process and He's experiencing things all the time where he, you know, he, he do, he's realised that he doesn't have to compromise. He doesn't have to change. He, don't, he can be himself and feel like he belongs. Um, because he's, hap he's happy with himself. He's happy with who he is. He's not trying to fit in. So that was really powerful, those cards. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to see what his their energy is, how he's feeling towards you for my energy pots. We like those and the communication as well. Let's see. What is he feeling today? Marriage. Yeah. So a lot of you could be thinking, oh, you know, what's he thinking about marriage? <laughs> he's really, you know, having this experience he's having is... You know, he's realising this is a spiritual marriage. He's going through this process of, you know, like I said, making the decision to commit. You know, he's thinking about committing. Um, and he knows that this is a spiritual marriage. And through this uncomfortable time, you know, he's still going to be thinking and fantasising and thinking about you and thinking about what he wants. He's thinking about what he really wants. Um and Divine Maskins could want to actually have the marriage of what we know you know he could want to get married to you but him, it's about him committing to himself committing to his journey and knowing that this is a spiritual marriage he's feeling this spiritual marriage because of what he's going through right now so just take it how it resonates to you what it means to you what else is he feeling today <laughs> intuition so yeah through this what he's experiencing he's about him trusting his intuition of how he's feeling trusting trusting his intuition and making the decision from him being 
honest with himself, listening to how he's fe- you know listening to how he's feeling, feeling how he's feeling, knowing, having this knowing and trusting himself um, during this time. This is what he's learning at the moment. This is the energy he's in. Right, let's see what he'd like to communicate with you if he had the chance in the 3D and what is he saying to you in the 5D. I have dreams about you, so yeah. He could be having dreams about you. That's what he would say to you today. I'm having dreams about you. And obviously when you're having dreams, you know, you're just reminded all the time you just can't get away from the situation. You can't get away from thinking about you and... He could be daydreaming about you as well, um, fantasising about what he wants to do, you know, how he wants things to be with you, like getting married. Um, but if, you know, Divine Masculines are being reminded of you all the time and they're having dreams and this is like really, could be quite intense for the Divine Masculines to cope with at the moment because it does, it's making them feel sad, it's making them like, you know, desperate, you know, they just want this to be sorted out just reminding them all the time and wherever they're going they're just being reminded of you all the time so let's see what else you'd love to say to you today I'm sorry I didn't tell you the truth yeah they are sorry that they haven't told you the truth they haven't told you their truth but going through what they're going through this you know where they're feeling um confusion and feeling they don't belong and feeling alone they feel a loss they don't know who out they are anymore um this is where they are going to speak their truth because they're going through what they're going through now they are going to be honest with you and they are sorry that they haven't told you the truth um but the truth will come when it's the right time divine you know perfect timing divine timing God's plan, you know, it will happen, but you've just got to keep believing, you know, and trusting this journey, whatever's going on outside of you at the moment, you know the truth yourself. You don't need your divine masculine actually to tell you the truth because you know the truth. If you're really trusting your intuition, you know the truth. You don't need your divine masculine to tell you anything, and you don't need anything external from you, you know, anything that's going on, just ignore anything that's going on around you that's confusing you or triggering you, just go within and realise that all the bad feelings that you're feeling or how your, you know, thoughts, they're just thoughts, it's just your ego trying to take over again, it's really battling at the moment with you and your divine masculine where it's really trying to confuse you and poke its nose in <laughs> to try and um, test you to see where you are in your spiritual journey and um, and you know if you're hopefully you're in a place where you can see through this and you have you know you're that you know you're ascending and you are having this great understanding where you can just switch off from the ego you can allow it and go, oh yeah, well, yeah, that's not true. And you can get yourself feeling inner peace again by just quieting in the mind, being in the present moment, realizing what's happening, accepting it, allowing it, not trying to control it, just being. And that's the whole purpose of your spiritual journey. Not just for twin flames, on your spiritual journey, it's just about learning to be, being, having that inner peace and not letting the ego take over your mind, take over you and what's going on around you because um, nothing you know can around you, nothing around you, you know that's outside of you is responsible for how it you know how it makes you feel, you're responsible for how you feel, your divine masculine is responsible for how you feel and if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling rejected, if you're feeling abandoned, it's, no one is responsible, but you have to take that responsibility on for yourself and get your place, self in a place where you just feel whole because you're comfortable with yourself and you love yourself and you don't need anything else. 
because you've got God's love. That's the whole, you know, this is the whole point of the journey. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. I've explained it as, you know, the best I can. Um, I just hope you are in that place where it does resonate and you know what I'm saying and you do feel 100% secure within yourself and this journey. And you are, you know, you just keep believing and trusting and you, that you're not worried about what divine masculines are doing or, you know, what if they're doing something to trigger you or if something somebody else is doing something to trigger you or a situation is triggering you, just for you to be aware of that. I hope you are at that place where you are aware and nothing can affect you. So let's get a card for you now. This is really important. The reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit. So let's see what's going to come out. What God wants you to know today to keep your strength and keep you focused and to you what you need to know today to make you, you know, feel special, to know how amazing you are. Um because you deserve it. Slow down and enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's perfect. So you need to slow down and start enjoying yourself and enjoying every part of this journey because if you're 100% feeling distrust and having this faith, you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. You, Everything's working out for you and you're always safe. Um, always know that. It's... The message says it's time to really slow down and enjoy life for what it is. We are all too busy on our journey to our, on our journey to our destinations without actually enjoying the journey itself. There you go. Notice all the beauty which is always surrounding you. Really take time to appreciate it all. It is there just for you. And the action to take is slow down, take your time and enjoy the journey of life. Enjoy all the beauty which surrounds you. And the powerful affirmation is, I honour my divine inner spirit by slowing down and doing something for myself that I love and that feels good to me. Yeah, take care of yourselves and slow down, guys. Enjoy this journey. Don't just keep thinking about the end result. And the end result isn't your divine masculine. The end result is for you to have inner peace. That's the whole point of this journey. Um, the divine masculines are bonuses. But slow down and enjoy this process. Even when you're being triggered, it's all part of it. And when you change your perception of the trigger and you feel that inner peace, it's blissful. When you have that big understanding, nothing can hurt you, nothing can, you know, you, when you work through that doubt and fear and the illusions, nothing can hurt you. Because you're feeling so comfortable and you've got a place where you are, you know, you're you experiencing inner peace, and that is what the spiritual journey is: is just to feel peaceful and just for you to be, and not have any expectations. Um, just, it's about understanding the journey, and like I keep trying to say, it is. It's about what you know. You could look at your divine masculine could do something to you, or somebody else could do something to you where it's really upset you, or whatever. And you feel like all these you know, like going berserk, and you feel like raging. And um, but it's about taking a step back and thinking, well, why is that happening then? And you know what? Divine masculines are having a rough time, and they're experiencing where they don't feel belong, they don't belong, and all this desperation. But really, this is all good because it's movement forwards. It's a good positive thing. It's a magical thing that's happening because he's moving forwards. He's on his way home back to you because he's not going back anymore. He's not going back anymore. He's actually making a decision to commit. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. You understand what I'm saying and I haven't been going on for too long. And I haven't repeat. Um, I hope I haven't kept repeating myself. But you do have to keep repeating things to get things in your head sometimes. So I hope I have helped you. Um, 
I have enjoyed doing it today. And um, stay focused, guys, and keep believing and trusting, and send your divine masculine um, loving healing energy from a distance, and just keep focusing on it. Yeah, just slow down, enjoy yourself. Just focus on yourself because the more you focus on yourself, you're helping the divine masculine anyway. And if you can stay peaceful and having a peace, your divine masculine will, will receive that because you're one soul. So, if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. I do have PayPal now, um, so if you feel like you'd like to donate and support my channel, I would really appreciate it and be so very grateful and excited. And I do have a Amazon wish list as well. So um, take care of yourself, guys. I'm always thinking about you. And I'm sending my love, my support, my strength, and my light to you. Um, and I'll see you. I'll do another reading tomorrow. So take care. I love you. Bye. Oh, what's your soul saying?